Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. s a b a d i k r a p and welcome to this Monday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mastanza. The Sankran holiday is almost here, and local authorities are stepping up security measures, especially after a security memo leaked on Friday saying four militants are plotting terror attacks in the region. The memo identified two Turkish Uyghurs and two Russian Chechens in a threat warning issued by Suratani governor to local police. The memo said two of the men entered Thailand via Phuket on March 23. And that they may be staging attacks on Chinese or Russian targets and interests in Southeast Asia. National police officials, however, are downplaying the threat while telling local cops to be vigilant on suspicious activity around crowded areas. And in a bid to improve the nation's image and boost revenue, the government is cracking down on cheap prepaid tours. Officials say the government will recommend prices on tour packages to China, South Korea, Russia, and other countries, hoping it will help bring quote quality visitors. Major General Sanser and Kao Kam Nerd said the 350 billion baht prepaid tour industry creates lots of problems, including illegal tour guides, monopolized vehicle rental services, and improper behavior of tourists. And officials say the drought crisis is getting worse for the non-irrigated areas in 152 districts across 42 of Thailand's provinces. In fact, the Ubol Ratanao Dam in Konkan has so little water it's affecting their ability to generate electricity in the northeast. Meanwhile, farmers are being urged to switch to drought-resistant crops. And stay with us, p u k e t Extra will be right back after this. Get ready for a fantastic, fun-filled day out at the biggest water park in Phuket. All happening at Splash Jungle, just north of the airport. More info on splashjunglewaterpark.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Officials from Thailand's anti-money laundering office are investigating 16 Thai politicians and business figures named in the Panama Papers leak to see whether they did anything against the law. At a news conference, officials did not name any of the 16 Thai citizens, which were originally reported to be 21 people. AMLO Secretary General s i h a n a t Prayunrat said all of those named were tied to offshore companies set up by Panama-based law firm Mossack Fonseca. And it's finally kind of sort of happening. The Samkong underpass is opening up. Two northbound lanes through the longer-awaited underpass are now open, thanks to highways officials who hope to alleviate some of the traffic on the busy site until after the Songkran holiday. Motorbikes are also being temporarily allowed to go through the open northbound lanes. Work is still being done on the southbound lanes as the intersection remains closed in Samkong. Still, it's a much-needed step in the right direction. Let's take a quick ride through the open lanes of the Songkran underpass. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. Don't forget to check back with us tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bounce into 2016 with the coolest club in town. 50 Fly Trampoline at Big C in Car 2 is the first trampoline club on the island. Bounce back into fitness and have some fun as well.